Hey guys, it's me and it is November. Thanksgiving is coming, that means Christmas is coming, but more importantly, the most important thing in the whole wide world, the Gilmore Girls revival is coming. Who's excited? So I wanted to do my October favorites with you guys. I actually was debating not doing one of these favorites videos for October, but then I realized that I don't think I ever did one for September, and I wanted to get one out. I wanted to do a fall favorites video, but everything in life like that, like I want to do a lot of things and it never works out for some reason. So just in case I don't get to the fall favorites video, I thought I would do at least my October favorites. Let's call this October September favorites. So the first two things that have been my favorite are from Makeup Geek Cosmetics. Ever since they sent me that huge package of stuff, I've just been like, loving their products. I've been using them constantly and these are two things that I do you do use on the daily. The first thing is this eyeshadow in Americano. I actually don't use it very much on the top lid but I love this color for the bottom waterline. Look how pigmented that is. Like that's super pigmented. So I found with my monolids that anytime I take any type of dark color from the outside all the way into my inner corner, I just look ridiculous. So as with a lot of Asians who have monolids or hooded eyes or just closed eyes or just anybody, I shouldn't even just say Asians because a lot of people have this issue. Anybody who has like a smaller eye, it's not a good idea to take color all the way into the inner corner on your waterline just because it kind of gives your eyes a more closed off look and if you use black or things like that, even though it can give it a smoky effect, sometimes with my type of eye at least, it can make you look tired or even like you have a bruised eye or it just doesn't, it's not very flattering. So I do still like having definition underneath here and uh, because black is a little bit too harsh and again, I want like a softer line down there, I found that Americano is like the perfect dark color. I don't know if you can see, but it's like the perfect dark color to take just on the like edge of my waterline, like where my lashes, like my waterline's still clear, but it's just like right where that is. It stays in place too. I, know, I remember when I was in high school and I would wear eyeliner on my bottom waterline and it would constantly travel out to the corner right here and it would just like be like black right here. I don't know if any other Asians or people who have eyes like that had the issue, but like somehow all of the eyeliner would just navigate out here and then it would just smear or it would come down here and get all smudgy. Anyways, this color is just like perfect. It's the perfect color for there. Because it's like a powder, it doesn't move around and because I get it right on the lash line instead of on the water line, it stays in place all day. So I just really like that. It's very soft so it's not harsh or like overwhelming and it just is really nice for an everyday. I've really been liking this color. It's just the perfect color because it's not black Black, it's not brown, it's somewhere in the middle, and it really complements my brown eyes really well. Uh, Makeup Geek Cosmetics is really affordable too. I'll leave links to all of these products I mentioned below. But that brings me to my next favorite, which is the Makeup Geek Cosmetics Pencil Brush. This thing is like this itty bitty tiny little tiny tiny micro pencil brush. And this thing is perfect for using Americano underneath my bottom lash line to get a really nice tight just like not smoked out because it's not smoked out, but just a soft like line in there. So it's super, it's just like, I don't know, it's super nice for tiny eyes like me. Super nice. You can also use this in like the corner, like if you have like a little bit of corner definition you want to do. It's just like, I don't know, I love that I love this brush. It's just become so useful in my everyday life. So these two things are my favorite. Keeping on track for favorites for the bottom lash line area. I think I already mentioned this in a favorites video, but this Pixie by Petra Lower Lash Mascara is absolutely amazing. You guys know I used to love the Clinique bottom lash, whatever lash tiny thing that you could get at Sephora. It was like this little tiny silver tube. I still have it. I don't use it anymore because this stuff has just like taken its place completely. I never used to have bottom lashes and you can see them right now because I did use that stuff on my bottom lash. But I would always watch like beauty vloggers like, okay, now I'm gonna take mascara and I'm gonna put it on my bottom lash and I watch them and I'm like, you guys have bottom lashes? Like I never had them and I would try that with like actual mascara, like my better than sex mascara or any other mascara I was using and it would just look terrible because I only had like three like visible bottom eyelashes so it would just be like one long lash, one long lash, one long lash, like terrible. This stuff, I don't know if it's helping, this sounds weird, I don't know if it's helping my eyelashes grow or what, but it makes them look thicker. It grabs on even to the tiniest because this wand has like these little 
micro teeth in it. It grabs onto like every single tiny itty bitty lash and extends them. So it actually looks like I have a lot of bottom lashes. They're not a lot, but at least like an average amount for a human being. So I've been loving this stuff. I did not think I would like it as much as I did. Again, I think this is the second time I've mentioned it in a favorites video. So obviously I like it, but I've been using it every day. And what I really like about it is that I tend to wipe my eyes a lot like this. It doesn't wipe. Like even though it's not waterproof, I don't think it doesn't budge when I'm like doing this, you know, or like rubbing my bottom eye. So I really like this stuff. You can get this stuff at Target. I highly suggest it. It's awesome. I talked about a concealer, I think in my empties video, and I said that it was my favorite, my MAC concealer, Prolong concealer. I still use that, I love it still. But my skin's kind of changing, I noticed, and I started using my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I usually only use this underneath my eyebrow, but I started using this as my under eye concealer. Uh, before I really didn't like it that much because I felt like it was too thick and it wasn't padding in or blending very well And you could like see it like it didn't look natural Well, like I said my skin's been changing so I thought I would use it underneath because I didn't want as harsh of a brightness underneath my eye I feel like on camera it kind of shows up too harsh in person and in pictures it doesn't but when I'm recording it does So I tried this and it actually melted into my skin really nicely And that's what I've been using down my nose bridge and underneath my eye It doesn't as you can see I still have a little bit of dark circle. It doesn't cover as much as I like like the MAC Pro Longwear does, but it does give kind of a natural radiant look. So I have really been liking this for my under eyes. So this is definitely a favorite again of mine. But yeah, so this one's actually almost gone, but I do have a backup ready to go when this is completely a dud, but I would highly suggest NARS. So this just goes to prove that, you know, some products may not work for one person, but they might work for another, and they might not work for you at one time, but maybe later on they can. So don't always write a product off just because the first time you tried it you didn't like it because as you get older and your skin starts maturing and life starts changing you might like it so I do like this it did it did go on really nicely I just patted it in with my beauty blender and yeah this is definitely a favorite again of mine so some more oldies but goodies. Sorry, I just changed the lighting a little bit because I realized it was really harsh. <laughs> some more oldies but goodies that I used to use a ton, a ton last year and the year before that, but stopped using for some reason. Uh, the first one is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is the medium slash deep brown matte bronzer. I love this stuff. I used this religiously until I think the Anastasia Contour Palette came out and then I started using that and then I started using other contour products. But I put this away and I don't know why because a, it smells amazing, but it's just, I love this stuff. It's so complimenting to my skin. It just goes on flawlessly, and I really love this stuff. So this has definitely been a favorite of mine, an oldie but a goodie. But yeah, I hit pan in this, but thankfully I have a backup in my drawer, and I'm happy because, again, I, you know what? I realized that I think I liked this more during the winter, and I think during the summer I kind of navigated towards other bronzers, but I definitely like this stuff. So this is a favorite of mine again. And then the other oldie but goodie is the Stila palette. This is the Eyes Are the Window shadow palette in Seoul. You guys, I talked about this palette. Like, I think I made two Get Ready With Me videos with this palette because this was like my go-to palette every day for like months because it's just such a good palette. I've used this thing like crazy. It's all beat up. Like the kitten exploded, I think, when I dropped it. This thing is like janky and broken right here. I think I broke this when I was in LA actually. I think I dropped it because I was the mirror so nice. I was using it and I think it fell and just shattered. Anyways, the point is is that I love this palette again. I've been using it. I used it today. I used it in my last video. It's just a good palette. Like it's a great palette. These matte colors right here are so complimenting to my skin tone and they go on so nicely. They have kitten which mine's busted but it still works. And then this shadow shade right here, Essence, it's like this gold um shimmery. I've been putting it on the inner corner of my lid like wet with like MAC fix MAC fix spray or whatever that crap is called and it just like it looks it just is really nice it's really nice so I've been loving this palette again definitely a good palette another face product that I've been loving is the MAC eternal sun blush this stuff is really really nice I stopped using this too for some reason I got this I think last year I don't know when was it when I had really long hair and I went to Virginia and I got an ombre I don't know, that was like over a year ago. But I got this then and I stopped using it. I actually, it's like, there's an indent in here because I've used, I used it a lot then. I stopped using it, but it's a really nice color. It's a beautiful, just like, I don't know what you would explain this color as. It's like a very tan, burnt, mauve color. It's just really pretty and flattering. 
Uh, it goes on really nicely. It's very buildable and I think it's really flattering to a lot of skin tones. I used this on my friend today and it just looked really gorgeous on her. It just gives you a really nice natural flushed look. I on the other hand like to go overboard when it comes to contour and blush so for me it like you know it doesn't look very natural but if you're looking for a natural flush look you can get that with this. You just use a light sweep on each cheek and it's just a really nice color so I've been really loving that again. That one I guess is an oldie but goodie too. Moving on to the hands. I've been loving this Gelish Mini Polish in Exhale. It's what I'm wearing right now. I get compliments on this polish like all the time. Like I went and got a coffee today before my son's uh, parent teacher conference and the barista was like, I really like your nail color. And I was like, you know what? I do too. Like, I, of course I said thank you, but I looked at my nails again. I'm like, you know what? I, I do too like this. Like I've been wearing this all month again. You guys have asked in some videos too what this is. I mentioned this in my last favorites video, I believe. But yeah, it's the Gelish Mini color and exhale. I'm not really sure what the difference is between the Gelish Minis and the regular Gelish polishes. They have two separate Instagram accounts. Not sure why. I really like this color. It's just very flattering. It's really great for fall. It tends to go with like anything I'm wearing, which is really nice. And it's almost a natural color, but it's not natural, if that makes sense. Like it just, it doesn't look like I'm overdoing it on my nails, but it does also look sophisticated and casual and all of that. So I really do like this color and it stays on my nails for a pretty long time if I do my nails right. So loving this color. The next two products I have are for the nose. Um, I've mentioned this perfume in a favorites before. This is by Vulgari. I love this stuff. It's like halfway gone. I don't know if you can see that. So I got this at TJ Maxx because of the sample that I had and it just smells so good. Like it smells, it smells so good. Like it's crisp, it's clean, but it kind of smells a little bit cologne-y. Like it kind of smells like a feminine version of a men's crisp cologne, if that makes sense. And I just love that smell. And it just, Oh, it smells so good. It stays on your skin and in your hair and on your clothes for a super long time too. So you definitely get your money's worth out of it. And again, I found this at TJ Maxx for I think like 30 bucks, which it sells full price at like Sephora and other places for like 60 and up or something. So check out your local TJ Maxx or Marshalls because they might have it. But I really, really, really love, love, love the smell of this stuff. It's definitely one of my favorites. And I'm really sad. I will probably have to go buy another one, but it's so good, guys. So good. The last favorite that I have is by White Barn. I got this from Bath and Body Works. This is the Cactus Blossom Scented Candle. I bought these for my birthday, so technically it's like a late October favorite, but still a favorite nonetheless. I, mmm, this smells so good. I don't know if you can see. I'm burning one right now. As I said in that birthday haul, I was like, oh, I'm only gonna burn this in our bedroom because that's like, it smells so good, it's our bedroom smell. I, it smells so good in our bedroom that I was like, I want my whole house to smell like this. So I brought the other candle down and started burning it down here and it's already almost gone and I'm really sad. I wish candles burnt slower. I feel like sometimes the candles burn too fast, but oh, it smells so good. And it's one of those candles that honestly, if you just leave the tin lid off, like in our bedroom, you can still smell a faint waft of it. So it's kind of nice because even when it's not burning, you can still kind of smell it. Oh my gosh, but I love it. It's, it's just such a good, sweet, not like sweet, like candy sweet, but like perfumey, like, I don't know. It just, it smells good. It smells like fruity. It smells like flowery, flowery. Um, well, it's a cactus blossom. It just smells really good. It's a good smell. You should go sniff one at your local Bath and Body Works, but that is a favorite of mine as well. Those are my October slash September favorites for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to make more. Comment below if there's any products that you've tried that you really, really like and that you think I should try next month, or if you've tried any of these products. Let me know how you feel about them. I will leave, like I said, all the product links in the description box underneath this video and where to find them if I can find the links to them. Yeah, so subscribe if you wanna see more videos. I try to upload two to three new videos a week and sometimes they're nonsense, sometimes they're beauty, sometimes they're day in the life, sometimes they're nonsense again. I have been doing some cooking videos lately and of course my period series, but yeah, I'm just, it's just Kelly, so yeah, if you wanna subscribe, that would be great, I'd love to have you on my channel. And as always, thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.